My name's Kim, an environmental journalist from the UK, and I'm here in South Africa to investigate a tiny little insect that has taken the UK by storm, the dung beetle. So I've travelled to Scotia's Game Reserve to find out whether I can find the dung beetle and see what all the fuss is about. Let's go. Alongside my trusty ranger Don, we start by looking for the elephants. At the front on the tracker seat, I can get a clear view of the reserve and it's not long before we spot the elephant herd in the bush. It's such a rush of excitement finding them and being so close to such gentle giants. As incredible as they are, I'm not actually here for them, but for the dung that comes out. So Don has just spotted something in the road and it's either a beetle or a poo. I'm very excited. So this is what we're looking for, except not in this form. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's a big one as well. Yeah, yeah. So we're on the road, so obviously could it have been a beetle because you can see the tracks. Definitely a possibility that someone uh, drove over this little one. But the thing is usually the guys are quite wary of the dumb beetles and they try to avoid them. But Hopefully the next one we find has managed to cross over and get to its final destination. Failing to find any dung beetles on the track, my ranger suggests heading into the bush where the elephants like to hide in hope that we find some fresh dung. So Don's taken me on a good track because we've found quite a lot of elephant dung. So if there's a dung beetle in like this one. Yeah, now we're gonna have to see, pull it apart, see if there's anything inside. Inside. I'm not sure how <laughs> I feel about this, but I'm I'm gonna give it a go. Let's see if the chain's dirty. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> I know they only eat like veg and oh gosh, but still not nice to know you're rummaging in poo. That is a fail, so on to the next bit. Uh, we might have just uh, spotted a dung beetle. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, it stinks. That's fresh dung. Very fresh dung. Go on, fella. Oh. Okay, just pick it up. Got it. Yeah. So, Don, we found it. Why are people so fascinated in this little hard black ball? There's quite a few reasons. Uh, for one, that they only occur in this small part of the world where we are now and they're only going to be here if the elephants are here. So it's been a great find and this fella is lovely but I'm going to pop him back because I want to find the one while it's rolling the dome. So Don's works for the head time. Dung beetle! Finally! A dung beetle doing what it does best rolling the dung. Don explains that it's one of the few animals that uses the dung of the elephants and buffaloes. The females roll the dung and lay an egg in the middle before putting it back into the earth, ready for the eggs to hatch. Now I understand what all the fuss is about. My time here has shown me just how incredible this little dung beetle is. He has a fascinating story to tell and he's just as equally as important as the larger African animals found here in the bush. 
I want to return home to be able to tell his story so that other people can have the same appreciation that I have for him. So I think it's time I put him back where he belongs and I head off back home to the UK. Oh my god, he's still coming out! Oh my god! Look at that! Look at that! I've got elephant. What's happened? The dung beetle has taken a shit on my hand, all over my fingers. Here we go, look, there you can see. There. I would like to put him back now, please. Thank you.